Welcome back to Keen Plays. Today we're going to be looking at this Marvel Go on a Mission brand deal with Loblaws. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just a parent company for a whole bunch of grocery stores basically in Canada. So like Superstore, No Frills, Shoppers Drug Mart, anything that is under the Loblaws umbrella. And I think they have a bunch of different Marvel related things going on. But the one that we're going to be looking at today is these collector cards that they give you with every purchase you make. Every $25 you spend, you get one of these packs of cards here. Each pack has four cards within it. And as you can see, I have a ton of packs. So I'm going to be going through all these packs today and seeing if we can complete the set. I believe I have 23 or 24 packs. So just over 90 cards, which that is uh, 90 cards is the full collection. So I doubt that we're going to complete the collection. But regardless, we'll see how far we can get. I believe there's a few other things that go along with this go on a mission as well. I think I was reading there's uh, like some infinity gems throughout the store and there's some games and prizes that you can win. I really haven't looked into that side of it all that much. Mostly just been interested in these collector cards and uh, and I think there's a card game that you can play as well with them. And so these cards you get for free with your purchase. This booklet here though, it, uh, it costs five bucks. It's basically a place to just store all of your cards in here. As well as, yeah, I don't know, it looks like a little kid's booklet here. There's the game rules for the power card game that I was talking about. And then oh, there's some games in here. And this is where you would store your cards. <laughs> there's some yoga instructions in here. Okay, interesting. And then at the back, there's the complete collection. Very cool. Okay. Anyways, let's uh, let's get into these cards. First pack. I don't know what the best way of opening these are. Oh, okay. I guess you can just pop them out. Maybe. I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> I guess I could. There we go. All right, there we go. So those are the cards. It's just really thin, cheap cardboard <laughs> paper. We got Star Lord, Captain Marvel, Yondu, and Hulk. Taking these out of here is. Uh, not that nice. I just feel like I'm gonna wreck them a bit. Thanks. Okay, so there we go. Oh, they have numbers on them. We got 67, 59, 56, 46. And they have little attributes. They got intelligence, power, and courage. Star-Lord is <laughs> pretty rough, man. Doesn't have much going on there. Hulk, good intelligence, awesome power. I would have thought that like it'd be full, like right to the end, like max power. Not quite. Yondu is also pretty, pretty weak compared to Hulk. And Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel has full power. That's kind of crazy. And pretty good courage. Not too smart, though. Anyways, there we go. So that's... Those are the cards there. Let's get through the rest of these. Don't want to be taking up too much time here. So if I do that, then it just opens right up. There we go. Okay, we've got Black Panther. Shuri. Quake and I don't know, Okoy, 
maybe. Okoy. I think I'm just going to leave them in there for now, and we'll just go through these. We'll just open them all up and see what we get before taking them all out. There we go. Courage, plus three courage. Captain Marvel, Baby Groot, plus two power. Oh, and the Baby Groot is a holographic card. Cool. So is that the same? Yeah, dang. All right, so we've got one double so far. Not horrible. And we've got a holographic Baby Groot. Let's see. See this up close. Nice. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's keep going here. There we go. Okay, we got Wasp, Peter Quill, Iron Man, and Iron Man, but two different ones. And this Iron Man is a holographic. Nice. Uh, another Star-Lord, another Captain Marvel, another Yondu, another Hulk. This is the exact same as the first one. Okay. Yeah, that's the exact same setup. <laughs> that's too bad. So four straight doubles. And then I already have a double of Captain Marvel. So I've got three Captain Marvels already. That's kind of brutal. So we're not going to be able to complete the set. <laughs> we got plus one courage, Hawkeye, Miss Marvel, and plus three power. Okay, we got War Machine, plus two intelligence, Black Widow, and Scarlet Witch. Uh, Shuri, pretty sure we already have this one. We've got another Yondu, Ego, and plus two power. We got Rocket Raccoon, Captain America, plus two power, and another Scarlet Witch. Oh, Captain Marvel, but it is a different style one. And it is uh, a holographic card. And then another Peter Quill, and another Black Panther, and Thor is new, so that's nice. All right, we got Captain America, different one though. Courage, Courage, two different ones, and War Machine. I don't know what pack we're on here. We've got plus three Courage, plus one Courage, the Collector, and plus two Intelligence. Those are all different ones, I think. Nice, we got Rocket and Groot. Groot, another Captain Marvel, and another Star-Lord. <laughs> Lots of doubles. Hey, another double. A double hollow. Oops. Oh, it's okay. Nice. And then a plus three courage vision, that's a new one, and plus two courage. And we've got Captain America, Rocket and Groot, Loki, and the Collector. So Loki's the only one that we don't already have. Plus three courage vision, Patriot, that's a new one. Jane Foster, that's another new one. Nice. Thor, Nick Fury, Black Panther, and Valkyrie. Ego, She-Hulk, Thor, and Star-Lord. Captain America, Rocket and Groot, Loki, and the Collector. Ugh. Freaking Captain Marvel, man. So many of them now. There's no reason that I should have three hollow Captain Marvels already. <laughs> Plus, I think three or four of her regular ones as well. That's just ridiculous. 
Yeah, I think I've seen all these ones before. Oh my gosh. I do not like Captain Marvel. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Four hollows. <laughs> Peter Quill, Thor, and Black Panther as well. All right, last pack. Hopefully we get something good. Rocket Raccoon, Captain America, plus two power, and Scarlet Witch. All right, well, let's uh, start taking these out, and we'll see how many we've got, how close we are to finishing the full thing. And there we go, finally, holy smokes. That took forever. That is a fat stack of cards right there. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's sort through these real quick. So, We've got a lot more doubles than I originally thought. We have four number one Thors. We've got an Iron Man, Nick Fury, Miss Marvel, which is a hollow vision, Hawkeye, and then we're missing number seven. We jump straight to Captain America but like the Falcon or whatever got three of those ones then the Wasp three Black Panthers and we're missing number 11 we got a couple Shuri's Courage we're missing number 14 a couple of those a couple Captain Americas uh, uh, yeah. A couple Courages. And then we're missing number 18. Got 19, the Patriot. Quake. And then we're missing 21, 22, 23, 24. And we have this one. 25. And then we're missing 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And then... 32, 33, 34. And we've got three of those ones. Another thing there. War Machine, we've got three of those. And then we've got four. <laughs> four hollow Captain Marvels. We're missing number 39. We got a couple Lokis, a couple Visions, a couple Black Widows. And then we're missing. Uh, 43, 44, 45. And we've got, oh my goodness, we got four Star Lords. And we're missing number 47. A couple of Rocket Raccoons. Groot. And we're missing uh, number 50 and 51. We got Baby Groot. And we got three Peter Quills couple of Rocket and Groots. No, three of those. Iron Man, Hollow. A couple of Hulks. Four Scarlet Witches. And then we're missing number 58. Four Captain Marvels. Jane Foster. Courage Shield here. And then we're missing number 62, 63, 64, 65, and 66. And we've got three Yondus, missing number 68, three collectors, a couple of egos. They're missing number 71, 72, 73, Valkyrie. Missing number 75, 76. 
couple of those missing number 78 <laughs> four of those one of those missing number 8182 black panther okoy missing number 85 got this power and we're missing number 87 88 89 and 90. so lots of doubles like i said and let's see game can be played with a minimum of two players with a suggested minimum of nine cards per player to start the game shuffle and deal all the cards face down each player is dealt three cards a player has to start with three hero cards if you receive a value card keep drawing until you have three hero cards at hand and keep the value cards as extras the youngest player begins by stating one of the values on their chosen card for example courage other players then select a hero card from their hand each player places their card on the table face down. Everyone then reveals their card simultaneously. Ready, three, two, one. If a player possesses a value card with the linked value, they can place it on their superhero card. And the values will, be, will then be added together for this turn. The player with the best or highest value wins. The winner places all the cards from the round, including their own, onto a new pile beside them. If two or more cards share the same highest value, all the cards are placed in the middle, and the same player starts over at step two. The winner takes all cards from the previous round. After each turn, each player refills their hand to three cards. All used value cards are removed from the game. The winner of the previous round now starts at step two. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So you'd have three cards, but you need to have, so you just keep picking up until you have, um, well, I'm going to have a whole bunch of those. That seems, that seems wrong. I don't know. All right. So hopefully your hand is uh, not so heavy. <laughs> power ups or value cards whatever so there you go then I would have three in my hand and then I just choose uh, courage I guess play that one down and I've got so many of these I might as well play that down as well so then do I have full courage or do I have like plus an additional two courage I don't know. It doesn't really sound like that appealing of a game. Kind of just sounds like, I don't know, kind of like War, the card game. You just, you know, flip over a card, whoever has the highest wins type of thing. Don't know how the game ends. Maybe you just go through all of your cards in the deck. You know, it's saying minimum of nine cards per player. So two players, there's 18 cards. You just go through the deck and uh, <laughs> and then whoever has the biggest pile in the end wins or you play right until someone loses all of their cards maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not much to the game. That's pretty unfortunate. But let's uh, see how this works here. There we go. We've got some Thors. Let's stick one of these in here. Somehow. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay, there we go. So there it, <laughs> there it is. The card is in there. And yeah, you're only supposed to use two slots because, yeah, on the back side, then you can put this card there. It works. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. It does work. It's just pretty lame. <laughs> 
I mean, this is very much like a kid's thing, so I can't rip on it too much. And it's free. So, yeah, I'm just... Uh, you know, this is meant for children. <laughs> That's why the game is, like, not good, and this booklet is pretty pathetic. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. It does work, but it's just like, yeah. But this was only five bucks, and all these cards ended up being free, so you can't complain that much. I shouldn't be complaining at all, really. It's still a neat thing, and and it is. I think it's it's pretty great for kids. Like, if I was a kid, I'd be pumped on this. I'd be wanting my parents to go shopping, a hundred percent more, so I could get all the cards, fill out all the slots and everything. I think we ended up with a decent stack, so I think we're missing forty three cards. So, <laughs> to uh, to recap, I think this is super fun. Uh, I think kids would really enjoy it. Uh, the booklet's got a bunch of little things in it for, for kids. And, and yeah, you can store all your cards there. There is a card game. I don't think it's a good one. Uh, even for kids, it's pretty lame. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know how your guys' collections are going if you're collecting these. In the meantime, feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.